And now, part two of Hidden Agenda. Hey, Simon, how you holding up? Um, hanging in there. A lot of extra work whenever there's a freak on the loose, I guess. Okay, okay, guys, settle down, listen up. Hey, listen up. We lost a cop today. Another one won't be returning to active duty. And it could have been even worse. I know it's gonna be tough on all of us, no one here ever thought we'd see the day that Jack Calvary went down for the count. He, uh... Well, let's be blunt, he wasn't the kind to catch his flies with sugar. But he was one of us. And this atrocity cannot stand. Excuse me, Sergeant. What's the latest on the witness? The call girl? We got an APB out. And, uh, one for this Adam Jones, too. We'll keep you a bit. Until we have reason to believe otherwise, we are treating this as a trapper copycat. It's entirely possible that Jonathan Finn is somehow pulling the strings from behind bars. We have District Attorney Felicity Graves here to help with the investigation. She is familiar with the trapper's M.O. She's here to help. Please extend her every courtesy. Detective Marnie, I'm gonna need you to look into Calvary's old trapper case files. We're looking for links here, anything we could have missed. Yeah, sure. Got it. Okay, time to get moving. Just remember, Jack Calvary is watching from whatever shithole he ended up in. Let's do him proud. Hi, Miss Graves. How you holding up? I don't know. It's just like shit on shit. I can't get a break. Everyone thinks I'm crazy. Hey, don't stress out any more than you need to. You do have an alibi, remember? For last night? Carter. Morning. Why'd you need an alibi for me last night? You really want to get into this now, Becky? You're my partner. We gotta be honest with each other. Look, everyone knows about what was going on between you and Calvary. You've got motive, so I'm just doing my job. I thought that you would at least be on my side. It's not about sides. It's better that it's me asking questions, okay? Some of these guys... Yeah, right. I know how it looks. If Calvary had proven I lost evidence, I'd be screwed. So yeah, motive. It's too bad no one ever filed a complaint on him. And you know, this wasn't the first time he was with a hooker. He was a grade A creep, but they're still gonna ask questions. And the more distance you have, the better. Why'd you think Sarge put you on file work? I thought you were my partner. 
I'm just making sure we got our story straight. So, you don't believe me? Of course I believe you. Doesn't really sound like it. Hey, that's not fair. We have to trust each other. Yeah, we do. Adam Jones was definitely at Las Palmas, same time as Finn. Allegedly died in the fire that shut the place down. Now, according to Finn, Jones grew up to be the trapper, but how can that be possible? Doesn't make sense. If these killings are connected to the Las Palmas orphanage, Father Rominski is at the center of it. It's just too bad that the rest of the clergy took a vow of silence the minute things started to get hairy for him. But Finn told Felicity that Rominski had some kind of secret room at the orphanage. Couldn't find any reference to this in the police records. I guess it's time for me to head over to Las Palmas and take another look. Hello? Hello? Oh, hello ladies. Looks like Father Rominski was a regular customer. Whoa.
Back to the beginning, The Undertaker. The one target Finn had no clear motive to kill, no apparent connection to Las Palmas. Widow claimed to have no idea why Finn would want to kill her husband. Maybe five years have given her a fresh perspective. I'm gonna go see if she wants to be chatty. Yes? Miss Johnson? What do you want? I was hoping to ask you a few questions about your husband. I ain't got no time for this. I'm sorry, what was that? I said I ain't got no time for questions about my lying, cheating husband. Nobody came and asked me questions when I reported him beating on me. Well, I'm sorry to hear about what you went through. And I'm sorry those cops didn't help you. They should have. Damn straight. Well, I'm here right now, ready to listen, ready to help. Well, what you want to know? Well, I'm very sorry to hear that your husband treated you like that. Sounds like he had it coming one way or another. Yeah, one way or another. That all you wanted? I'd like to know if, um, your husband ever used the services of a call girl. <laughs> what are you, kidding? He suck his pecker in everything from high-priced spreads to gutter cleaners. I gave up keeping score. Ma'am, have you ever heard of anyone by the name of Adam Jones? A kid named Adam used to help my husband out sometimes before he lost his undertaking job, but that was a long time ago. Could this be him? Maybe just grown up a bit? Mmm, well, yeah, could be, yeah. Are you sure? Take a good look. Yep. I'll say that's him. Well, thank you for your time, Miss Johnson. LeMay, orderly at Las Palmas, in and out of the third precinct lockup for years, but known for his uncanny ability to avoid doing any real time. Seems likely that he knew people on the inside. If the third precinct cops were the trapper's targets, well, he connects both worlds. His brother, Vernon LeMay, works in sanitation downtown. I'm gonna pay him a visit. Have a little chat. <laughs> the six oh nine and 
pursuit of suspect. Party made foot bail. anything stupid, okay? I don't gotta do anything. No? I just want to talk to you. What the hell you want to talk about? Put the gun down. I just want to talk. Las Palmas Orphanage? I need your help. The sooner you cooperate, the sooner this little misunderstanding will be over. Just stay back. Drop it. Now. No! Hey, you okay? Yeah, I just... Yeah. What happened? Oh, God. I, I, I don't know. The, the whole thing is fucked, man. I mean, he, he just... He went up there You were just and... supposed to question the guy. I don't know. Maybe he had a fucking death wish or hey, something. Hey, hey, Look, this is This is not my fault, Carl. Can you try and piece this together for me? That's it. That's what happened. Yeah, but how, Becky? Yeah? A little taste of the old third degree? I mean, that's your specialty these days. Maybe they should have sent you after him. Talk him down with your bedside manner. I'm just doing my job here, Becky. Oh, give me a break. Jesus Christ, Becky, stop being so paranoid. You ever think I might be giving you the benefit of the doubt? Sorry. Look, I'm sorry, okay? You're right. It's all right. I just... I just don't know how much more of this I can take. Why don't we start with a coffee, get our heads on straight? Yeah. Okay, sure. Detective Marnie? On my way to see Simon Hillary. At his house? After hours? Yeah. I'm really starting to think there's a connection here with the prostitutes and the trapper killings. Hillary might have some forensic evidence we've overlooked. Go easy on him, all right? He's pretty shook up from the fireworks this morning. It's just a few questions. It's no big deal. Detective Marnie. Hello. I'm sorry to bother you at home. Please, come in. I can't believe how close I was to the... I can't even say it yet. You got lucky. You're telling me. Just another split second and... My God. You examined the trapper's rigs last time. How did this match up? Same guy? Yes. I, I, I do believe it's the same trapper. How can you tell? Well, the... the rigging in his nose... I mean, the only way to describe it would be... artful. Masterful, even. 
Do you remember Las Palmas? The uh, orphanage, the case from a few years ago. Unspeakable. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing some digging. The father there, Rominski, seems to have a thing for the ladies of the night, which is starting to feel just like the Calvary case. And Walsh, the undertaker. Hooker, same thing, night of his death. That's just too many hookers to be a coincidence. Huh? Unless every single man in this town is a John. Well. I'm working on a new theory. It's just a sketch, but I think you can help me. All right. Was there anything you found that might point to the killer being a woman? Well, there was trace evidence. Yes, it's, it's possible, certainly. Is that data still available? Of course. Uh, the records were archived when Finn confessed. Are you all right? Sorry? It's this morning. I, I'm st still a little shaken up. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I don't know. Something's fishy. It's like we've got all these tidy little puzzle pieces, but... The picture on the box makes no sense. Feeling like there's a lot more to this than just Jonathan Finn, you know? I'm not sure I do, Detective. And now, the Calvary murder, maybe Finn's still a part of it, but... But what if someone else is pulling the strings? I'm suddenly feeling very unsafe again. Finn's Adam Jones apparently survived the orphanage fire, worked for The Undertaker, Trapper's first Vic. The widow even identified him from a picture. I'm sorry, I am still feeling very foggy after the explosion. Sorry, just a moment, I'll get that all cleaned up. My apologies. I'm just, I'm still a little scattered. Don't worry about it. Here, let me help you. All right, I've taken up way too much of your time. It's no bother, really. Oh. I know that you didn't get to finish your evaluation at the crime scene. Is there anything that you may have missed? Well, I, I don't think so, but uh, this was no typical attack. Whoever Calvary was with, you probably knew them. Thank you for your time. Okay, that was odd. Simon basically freaked out. And that hoodie, was he following me at the orphanage? My gut says that he's mixed up with this somehow. Time to do some digging.
8.23 p.m., revisiting the crime scene of Detective Jack Calvary's murder. Gonna have a closer look at the bedroom first. It's not that big of a place, but I always have to wonder if the forensic team missed something. Marks spread outward on the headboard from the, um, the origin of the blast. Explosion was highly directional. If Simon did know about the bomb, it's possible he could have avoided serious injury. Forensics confirmed that the bullets were fired from Calvary's gun. But why? Hey. Now what is that? Son of a bitch. Gotcha. Okay, now this is just... Huh. Okay, now who's this? Oh my god. That's from the orphanage. Dollars to donuts, that's the same hoodie I saw drying over Simon's washing machine. Shit. <laughs> wow. Well, I never thought I'd say this, but thank God Calvary was one perverted piece of shit. This is huge. Contacts. Who would you like to call? Felicity Graves. Calling Felicity Graves. Hey, Felicity? Hi, Becky, what's up? Can you meet up? I want to go over some evidence. Yeah, of course. Uh, Temple Bar? Great. Okay, that's the end of part two. Hit the box when you're ready to move on.